Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Lawn Boys Pugs 1975 and welcome to the Wednesday vlog. Yes, it's Wednesday and I'm doing a vlog on a Wednesday. It's been it's been a couple of weeks. Um well you know what happened last week during I explained it in that video about the the, the PSP thingy, which I still stand by, it's absolutely wicked. Uh power cuts and stuff like that. Which is kind of why I did what leads into what this video is about. I've just realised by looking at my phone that I'm on the piss, but Hey, never mind. Now, I'm actually doing this on Wednesday because you can't see that even though, well, I've got Dennis the Menace up there because he always blocks the sun out for when I play on that television. But it's going to be a scorcher today. It's been nice and cold, you know, for a while and I've absolutely loved it, mainly for sleeping purposes. But it's going to be a scorcher, so I'm bagging this video out, you know, just, just, so hopefully in a couple of hours I can be unconscious all the way over on the other side of the house. But once again, I'm waffling pointless tact and you don't need to know any of that. Now, you've read the uh, the, the title up, upstairs, upstairs, I believe. Yes, the title, upstairs, which is, is there a point when your collection gets so big, it gets out of hand and you need to do something about this? Now, uh, I, I wouldn't say it was like, you know, hoarding or anything like that. But last Wednesday when, the, you know, the power went and I had nothing to do, I, I was, uh, you know, I was looking at the games I had, and when I say game collection, like that, that, which is not the massive Mega Drive collection in the world, but that's my childhood Mega Drive collection, which is why it exists. So that's exempt from anything. I've got some PC Engine games knocking around and stuff like that. That And Master System, that's also, also exempt, as is my NES, my um, Super Nintendo, uh, my, my um, N64 and stuff like that. But they aren't massive. Most of those are over there anyway, which you can't necessarily see because there's some in the cabinet. Uh, my Wii U collection is in another room. Um, this is part and parcel of why I did this. Uh, that's not going anywhere because it's the Wii U and I love that system and obviously it's dead now. Um, well, it's not dead, but you, you know what I mean. Uh, my Saturn collection is tiny. Uh, you know, it's expanding. Um, hopefully I'll have a video up this week about my next five games I purchased. But uh, yeah, that's not going anywhere. But long story short, couldn't do anything, couldn't watch anything, listen to anything, play anything. Let that be a lesson to you people. All your like portable games and stuff like that. Keep them always charged because I'm shit at stuff like that. And it really did bite me in the ass when this power cut happened. Anyway, yeah, so I'm in this room, which you haven't seen for a while because I always like to vlog, I don't know, in my actual sleeping room because it just, I don't know, seems more relaxed. But the other reason about this room was there are various shelves I've now removed that had games on and DVDs. I also got rid of a whole bunch of DVDs. And I was sitting and I was just thinking, I was looking around and I was thinking, Christ, look how many games I've got. I've got... I've got too many. I don't need this many games. Do I even play half of these? I haven't made it all the way through that one. I'm still playing that one yet. I have no interest in actually finishing them. I wouldn't say I buy games simply to have them, you know, fill a space on my shelf. I don't. I intend to play every single one of them. And the problem with stuff like, you know, 360 games, you know, and PlayStation 3 games, even though I don't own that system, but, you know, it's a question. So people out there with these systems, hopefully you'll understand where I'm coming from. Uh, they're at such a point now where they're so cheap that you'll see it and you'll think, I missed out the first time around, I've always wanted to play it, and you'll pick it up because price means, you know, even if you don't get around to playing it for a year, some type of cases never, we're all guilty of that, because of the price being so cheap, you, d you just write it off financially. And so, yeah, I, I looked around and just thought like this, I don't, you know, I've got nothing to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, I gotta clear out everything I don't need. I wanna, I wanna, you know, I want room again. I want shelves gone. I want space for consoles that I could hardly play and things like that. I'm not saying I was gonna get rid of everything, you know, like wipe off a system that I own because th that's not the case. I, you know, there are games I absolutely love and adore, and that's key here that I play all the time or constantly revisit on a system, I should say. And it's those games. That I wanted to keep. I don't want a bunch of games in a room which I can show people, hey look at this, you know. I don't want games to be some sort of decoration on a shelf. And now I'm not saying that's for everyone out there when you see these people with these massive collections and that 
they've got these, they never play them, they're just filling up space on a shelf. No, they probably, you know, went for a complete collection of something, whether it's fighting games, shoot 'em ups, you know, uh, generally love all their 360 games, things like that, went for a complete collection of, you know, like a Saturn, you know, like Neo Geo, things like that. So what I've done is different to that, because that is, that is their collection that they want to keep. These are what I like to call easily recyclable games if that makes sense it's not something that you intended on keeping forever but you just i don't know you sat on the collection to a point where all of a sudden you went from just having you know a workable collection into jesus christ I've, i'm running out of room i've got no room these these aren't you know classic 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 games i need to do something about it so i think it took me um about about five hours, honestly, because I cleared everything out. Cleared not just this, you know. I went through my DVD collection. I must have got rid of I don't know easily a couple of hundred, maybe more DVDs and box sets and things like that. Because that was the same thing. I thought, do you know what? I don't watch you anymore. You're not the same show when I first fell in love with you. I'm looking at you, Family Guy. I don't need I don't need you anymore. Whittled down my Blu-ray collection. But anyway, going back to the games. The thing about the games was, yeah, it was, it, some of it was difficult, some of it was easy. It was like that, no brainer, gone, that, no brainer, gone, that, oh, I really did want to see the end. But then I just asked myself, am I ever going to actually finish it? Am I actually going to sit down and put in the next 15 hours needed to finish that game? And then I asked myself, how much did I pay for it? And, you know, again, coming back to price, and I thought, do you know what? Gone, bollocks, gone. And the whole mindset was kind of, don't think about it too much, you know. Even if something is kind of, you know, if it's worth money, then sell it and get the money. But don't don't sit on it if you're never going to play it, if that makes sense. Um, although, coming back to my GameCube collection, some of those are worth a bit of money. And I'm going to play all of them, I really do. That was the one collection, actually, that was really easy to whittle down. Don't get me wrong, I probably whittled away 30 of them, but why am I keep saying whittle? I, uh, you know, they were, you know, looked at the titles and again with how, these are all factors, aren't they, that kind of, you know, determine what, what stays and goes, but, you know, how it's getting more and more difficult to see them in the wild or pick them up in the wild for reasonable prices. So that's when I thought, no, I'm not getting rid of them and I do play, play most of them, but loads of my 360 games, I just thought, you know what, why are you still here? Gone, bang, 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 bang. Uh, my Wii collection, yeah, that's, that's probably half. I, I, I was quite surprised, like, how big my Wii collection was, but, like, fucking huge and it's like now now i've got space you know and yeah it was weird but as long as you don't sit on it and pro procrastinate too much then it's like do you know what suck it up yes or no yes gone 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 and i have to say after all that time i felt really good i felt i felt it sounds really weird and sad i know but i felt like i actually achieved something i do honestly think and this is talking about me you know mainly but there are some of us who are guilty of just not buying stuff for the sake of buying stuff, but buying stuff and then generally intending to do something with it and actually starting it and never never finishing it. But then, I don't know, never addressing that issue and leaving it to gather dust, uh, you know, or leaving it on a shelf somewhere. And yeah, it may look nice on a shelf, but you don't actually need it anymore. You actually, deep down, you know, you know with inside you, you're never going to play it. So why, why is it there? What, you know, we don't, why possess something if it serves no purpose. Again, this is just me. I'm not saying there's people out there with big, 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 you know, game rooms and stuff like that. That's, you know, they, you know, my mindset's different to theirs. They hang on to games because they want that collection and they probably do play them. Mine is, do you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not hanging on to something if, if I'm not going to use it. It's, it's pointless. It's a waste of space, money, uh, and, and, and time. You know, in the sense that you, you never got rid of it. You know, you should have just got rid of it and, and moved on. But, yeah, so that in my DVD collection, I was like, wow. But hey, my Blu-ray collection, I whittled that down. I actually took all the ones to Pink Planet and got £36. It's weird that I whittled my collection down. The first thing I did was trade. £36, I bought a rare, rare replay for the Xbox One and uh, Forza 6. I think you've probably seen it. Well, no, you probably haven't because people who watch my vlogs don't generally watch my gameplays. But yeah, there's a video of gameplay up of it and I'm absolutely loving it. And it's funny because I thought when I bought them... And I'll show you what's left of the collection in a minute. And what I've got now, I thought, do you know what? No, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep this. And this is actually good because of the, obviously I've got the 500 gig model. So install to your full, and then don't you know extend your memory. Just delete when you've finished it. You know, play your actual game. This is something else from this experience, which is buy it and play the actual game. I mean, we're spoiled for choice. 
and you know we're like kids in a in a in a sweet shop so it's understandable that you get carried away because it is i i want that i want that and it, again it's like you do actually intend to play it but you know play it enjoy it get rid of it unless you're going to revisit it that's my new mantra and so my collection is not going to swell up into this state like it's going to take me because i've done this before once before a few years ago but i don't want it to swell up and my dvds into a state where i have to do this again because it's very very time consuming so anyway i'm going to quickly show you a picture of and some of these have gone to charity shops because that's the other thing i want to give these to charity shops with the limited money i'd get selling them to Pink Planet or Cash Converters or anywhere. Bollocks, I want it to go to a charity shop where they can make some money out of it. But some of these are gone already, but this is a picture of um, what's still to be sent out to charity shops of my games and DVDs. That's, that's insane. It's when you look at that and you realise... Why did I still have them? And I want to I show you what's left of my actual game collection. So this is it. This is everything that's left, with the exception of my Wii U games and my Sega Saturn games, which are in a different room, um, which I had no problem because, you know, my Saturn collection's small and my Wii U collection, it's, it's a console I love, so I'm not getting rid of any of it. But yeah, that's it. That's my PlayStation 2 games. Obviously, that's a new system. That's my Xbox One games. Both these piles are sort of intermixed uh, 3DO and PlayStation 1 games. Trimmed the hell out of that as well. Quite surprised uh, how many GameCube games I have, considering I have recycled twice, but they're they so hard to, well, not so hard, but getting more difficult to come by in the world that I'm not, I'm not touching them. Uh, probably the second biggest culling um, after the 360, which we'll get to, is my Wii games. I love my Wii. Everyone knows I love my Wii. So that's what's left of that. That's my original Xbox games. Never had that many of those. But that, that's what's left of my 360 games. Absolutely, you know, whittled that down to nothing because these are the games I know that I will still play. So... Um, anyway, this was, yeah, this is a very random waffly video, but I don't know, I feel like something's lifted. I feel, I generally feel good about having a massive, massive purge and, that, you know, and trimming a lot out of not just my games, but my DVDs. And so that's what I want to ask you. Have you ever done this? Are you like, no, 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 everything is sacred. Everything is staying, you know, even if uh, space is, you know, limited, you know, you know, or you like me, which is, do you know what? This, this might be a bit too much now, you know. Or, you know, let's be sensible, what do we play? Or this has gotten out of hand, you know. And you, you need to tackle it, you know. Like I said, is there a point where your game collection, it's got too big, it's got out of hand, out of control, and you need to do something about it? As always, I would love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.